In this video, we're going to look at graphing radical functions and how to find the domain and range of a radical function. So let's first start uh, look by looking at graphing them. To graph this function, y equals the square root of 2 times the square root of <coughs> y equals 2 times the square root of x minus 1 plus 2, what I want to do is I want to set the radicand, that's the, part, the piece underneath the radical, equal to my four special numbers to help me find some values. So we'll set it equal to x minus 1 equals 0, x minus 1 equals 1, x minus 1 equals 4, x minus 1 equals 9. And when I solve for x on each of these, I'll find that this leads me to find that x equals 1, add 1 to both sides, x equals 2, add 1 to both sides, x equals 5, add 1 to both sides, and then if I add 1 to both sides here, I get x equals 10. So these are the four values I'm going to plug into my t-chart to help me find the four points that will let me graph this. So now it's time to build our t-chart. So I have my x and I have my y's. So here are my four x values. I have 1, 2, 5, and 10. So now we're going to plug them in to solve for y. Well, y is going to be equal to the square uh, to 2 times the square root. I'm just plugging into our original equation. y is equal to 2 times the square root of 1 minus 1. And then we'll add 2. Well, that's going to be 2 times the square root of 0 plus 2. The square root of 0 is 0. 0 times 2 is, is 0. 0 plus 2 will equal 2. And we'll plug in 2 and simplify. y is equal to 2 times the square root of 2 minus 1. Then I'll add 2. So that's y equals 2 times the square root of 1 plus 2. The square root of 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Let's plug in the 5. <clears throat> y is equal to 2 times the square root of 5 minus 1. Then we add 2. And that's going to be 2 times the square root of 4 plus 2. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 would be 6. We have one more to do. So we have y is equal to 2 times the square root of 10 minus 1 plus 2, which will be 2 times the square root of 9 plus 2. Now we simplify. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. And now I have my four points to graph. We have the point 1, 2. x is 1. y is 2. We have the point 2, 4. x is 2, 4, 5, 6, and 10, 8. And now we're ready to graph. So <clears throat> go ahead and plot these points. So we'll go to 1, 2, then we go to 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we'll go out to 10, 8. And it starts here at that um, 1, 2, and then it goes on forever in this direction. But we only have an area on this one end. So that's how we can graph that. We first find our specific x values using that x, our radicand equal to 0, 1, 4, 9. Then we plug in those x values into our original function to find our y values. Now to find the domain and range, it's much easier than that. So we're still looking at the same equation. y is equal to 2 times the square root of x minus 1 plus 2. And this is for the domain and range. To find the domain, we just set the radicand, that's this x minus 1, greater than 0, because we always have to have numbers greater than 0 under a radical, and we solve. So we add 1 to both sides. It can equal 0, so we'll put the equal sign. So we add 1 to both sides, and we get x is greater than or equal to 1. 
And that's our domain. The domain is x is greater than or equal to 1. And the range for these will always be um, the y value that I get when I plug in this x value. So the range is equal to y is going to be greater than or equal to our equation, 2 times the square root. But I'm going to plug in this x value I found. So it'll be 1 minus 1 plus 2. So y is greater than or equal to 2 times the square root of 0 plus 2. So y is greater than or equal to, square root of 0 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. So we have the domain is greater than or equal to 1, and the range is greater than or equal to 2. And that makes sense when we look at our graph. So if we go back to our graph, we can see, oh, well, my domain is all my possible x values. If x starts at 1 but keeps going on and on forever in the positive direction, my domain is x is greater than or equal to 1. And if my range is all my y values, starting at the lowest y value is 2, and then it goes up forever, going in an upward direction, my range would be y is greater than or equal to 2. And that's how we can find... Now, uh, we can graph and find the domain and range of a radical function.